What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on this finally Friday, uh, the end of the work week, August 5th, 2022, about 1.44 p.m. California time here. Uh, we got a latest quake, definitely not a 4.4. See exactly where it went to here. Uh, let's see what we got. All right here, kind of hiding in the mix of earthquakes at 3.0. The latest quake here on the globe. Sometimes these uh, adjustments gets all, uh, kind of get gets mixed up here. As far as the latest quake, it looks like it was on an older quake. But either way, latest quake shows some movement out here into the Indonesia area. Seeing quite a bit of swarming today in this area. South of the Philippines, again, towards the southern end of the Philippine plate here it looks like. And all throughout this area of the Indonesia Islands. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here from the USGS map. We're noticing a little bit here on the map, uh, although quite a few magnitudes in the two and three range uh, through the EMSC model. As far as the USGS goes, looking at a pretty good swarm still around the Banda Sea in the four range. Some of those earthquakes pretty deep. Got one earthquake there, 4.4 at 311 kilometers uh, throughout that region. Also some activity through the Solomon Islands southward across the Tonga Trench and the uh, Kermadec Islands region, Kermadec Trench, seeing a 5.8. This earthquake kicking up overnight uh, towards the, uh, kind of like about the northern end. It is somewhat deep at about 27 kilometers. Um, things appear to be picking up here around the Fiji Islands region. Uh, up here to the north around the Japan area where we've seen that swarming kicking off here. Uh, only two earthquakes so far uh, today. It looks like a 4.9 and a 4.3. I still think we need to watch this area pretty closely here for some larger scale movement. Uh, as we look across the rest of the globe here, the map, little activity throughout the South America region and the Puerto Rico area getting in on some activity as well. Uh, a couple earthquakes up here around the Puerto Rico trench. What do we got for the states here? Not a whole lot in the 2.5 and above map. So let's go ahead and bring down the magnitudes a little bit and see uh, if we got anything uh, spectacular going on out here along the west coast, which it doesn't look like there's too much activity. Uh, cr quite a bit here along the creeping segment, the creeping section here of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, looks like the latest quake, a 2.1 earthquake there in the red circle. Also some activity down south here throughout the uh, southern portion of the state. No major movement though to take note here along the west coast. Scattered activity throughout the eastern Sierra Nevada. And a uh, little activity it looks like up into the Yellowstone region. Although this showing uh, late last night it looks like for the time frame. I was just checking out the Yellowstone uh, overview here. And uh, not a whole lot of swarming going on there at Yellowstone National Park. These are all the seismograph stations there across the uh, board. Yellowstone caldera here in the black uh, outline here. Yellowstone Lake. Looks like maybe one earthquake coming in here to the, uh, kind of looks like it's right around the Pelican Cove area. That's going to be the signature right here. Also noting that, uh, I believe that's the same one, although this one here looks a little bit different. See this little signature within about the last uh, 20 minutes or so. So we'll have to see uh, exactly where that earthquake is striking at. But uh, overall, the big picture at Yellowstone, not a whole lot going on, folks, uh, at all in that region. Eastern part of the country, or at least through the southern plains, somewhat active. Just a little spotty movement throughout Oklahoma and parts of Texas. One earthquake out here around the New Madrid zone. Uh, this earthquake here from uh, just a little bit earlier this morning, a 1.3 in the Marston, Missouri area. Uh, I want to check out the EMSC model here real quick and see what we got uh, for the swarming activity around the Indonesia region. It's kind of a big deal right now popping off here in this area. Uh, let's bring up this map right here and see if we can get a little bit closer detailed view of all the activity. Quite a swarm of movement throughout this region here. Quite a few fours in there as well it looks like. Uh, of course USGS not issuing uh, too much of those magnitudes there. Unfortunately, uh, 4.5, the latest, it looks like on that map around the Indonesia area. Some further activity uh, throughout this area. So again, some of those pretty deep as far as the depth of those earthquakes go in this, uh, this area. 
along the Perucelli Trench as well, getting getting quite a few threes. Middle America Trench looks pretty active today as well. And here's a little bit better view of the ongoing activity uh, that's kind of kicked up across the New Zealand area. Quite a few threes in the mix here. Uh, down around the so uh, southern portion, also North Island, New Zealand. And up and down the Kermadec Trench, all seeing some activity today. Western Australia, a couple twos out there as well, uh, including a three way up on the uh, northwestern portion there. Uh, so overall, it looks like we've seen a little migration of earthquake activity today. Uh, definitely making its way westward, right? Let's bring up the USGS map again, take a look at this. Uh, like far as yesterday goes, we've seen the majority of the activity up here off the coast of Japan onto the Izu Trench today. Kind of uh, come to a halt there, except for those two earthquakes, but a lot more movement here to the west and south uh, southwestern portion here of the uh, Pacific Plate. Got one earthquake down here in the South Sandwich Islands. That one kicking up overnight. Looks like a 5.0 at 29 kilometers. The uh, ongoing activity up there in Iceland continues. No major changes uh, to take note of up there at that uh, volcano along the Rick James Peninsula area. Looking at the all magnitudes here across Hawaii. Uh, still seeing a little swarming up here around Mauna Loa and also around Pahala, the big island. And uh, all areas appear to be um, pretty typical right now. Let me check out the hazard notification system, see if we got any updates. I know USGS Volcanoes did put out a uh, weekly update here. Uh, looks like that was late last night that came in for Mauna Loa. Um, that's kind of weird. I, I double checked this yesterday and didn't really see this. Um, Mauna Loa volcano is not erupting. A rate of seismicity temporarily increased above long term background levels the uh, evening of August se uh, 2nd. Of course, we've seen quite a bit of microquakes kicking up here uh, across the Mauna Loa region. Uh, other Mauna Loa monitoring data streams, ground deformation, gas concentrations, visual appearance and webcam shows no significant changes. So still keeping an eye on it. Uh, looks like 206 earthquakes were recorded over the past week. 90 were part of an earthquake swarm that occurred beneath uh, the Mauna Loa summit caldera. But uh, everything looks stable for now for CO2, H2S and the SO2 concentrations there from uh, volcanoes appear to be stable according to these folks so we well, can it definitely continue to monitor the activity at the uh, volcanoes there on the big island let's see what else we got uh, that's about it folks uh, not a whole lot going on aside from those little specific areas west coast just kind of quiet for now uh, solar weather activity double check this here they haven't updated their uh this image yet this is still from uh looks like a few days ago about four days ago or so uh let's see if this one's been updated here or not uh looks like it has there is some coronal hole activity that is facing us now uh, a couple sunspots as well coming around the bin looks like at least a 50 percent chance of a c flare 10 percent chance for an m flare um, we did have a little bit of activity yesterday kicking up into the upper C flare category right here. Seeing that double tap it looks like. So uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on this uh, sunspot activity. And we'll see how these coronal holes, if any, affects the three-day geomagnetic forecast, which looks pretty green across the board for now. Everything looks pretty stable. And uh, just for fun, check out the National Data a Buoy Center. I don't see any uh, buoys out there in event modes at all. Things uh, looking somewhat uh, calm for now. Not a whole lot of changes at all around the area. Let's see. I think that's about it, folks. So have a good day. I'm going to jump off here. We'll be back a little bit later on with a, a little bit more complete update tonight. Friday night update, of course. And um, we'll hope to see you then. Have a good day, folks. Peace out.